This video is going to demonstrate uh, visibility analysis uh, using view sheds within QGIS. Uh, I've added a DEM layer that represents uh, some terrain down in Benton County, Washington along the Yakima River. I also have four points here in a shapefile called towers. This analysis will see uh, which of these towers could be seen by uh, a human standing up um, in this area and would therefore help us to get an idea of maybe where they would get the best coverage. Uh, these potential towers uh, would be 60 meters high, so we want to consider that the towers would be 60 meters, and we're going to consider that the human uh, that could be anywhere on the landscape would be uh, 2 meters high. Um, so we'll go ahead and go, first of all, to the plugins to do a visibility analysis of this depth in QGIS. We need to install a plugin, um, which is down here. This plugin is called Visibility Analysis, so go ahead and install that plugin. You'll notice that the plugin adds a couple of tools into the processing toolbox. If you don't see this toolbox, go up to Processing and click Toolbox. Um, there's going to be several steps to this uh, process in QGIS. The first step is to run Create Viewpoints. So our observer locations are going to be the towers. Now we're talking about this problem in the sense of the observer will be a person anywhere on the ground, uh, but with this type of tool uh, the features that it asks you to upload are represented by your point shape file. So our observer locations will be the towers. We're going to point at the digital elevation model which is necessary. Um, there's a radius of analysis. We want to set this so it's large enough to cover all of our DEM. So I'm going to put it at 20 kilometers for each tower. That's more than enough to cover this area. Now we have the observer height in meters. Remember the observers are the features we uploaded. So those towers are going to be 60 meters high. And then the target height is anywhere else on the landscape that might be viewing the observer features. So uh, anywhere else on the landscape that would be viewing the towers and that is going to be uh, a human being and we'll just put two meters uh, for the sake of uh, being having a rounded number here. Uh, so let's go ahead and run that. Uh, we're going to uh, have an output layer created. We'll just leave it as a temporary layer for this analysis. So that's called output layer here and uh, you can see that those have been uh, added to the view. Now those are uh, with those enhanced observer features we can run the view shed itself. So let's open that tool. Um, we're going to choose the observer locations as the output layer. Don't choose the towers. Uh, that doesn't have the offset information that we needed to provide. So we're going to use the, that um, output layer that we used got from the create viewpoints tool. Uh, we'll point at our digital elevation model. Uh, let's take into account earth curvature for this calculation and we'll go ahead and click run. A view shed can sometimes take a while to run because it's doing quite a few calculations in order to find all the cells that meet the criteria. Uh, also another important part of running a view shed is being able to interpret the output. So we'll take a look at that when it completes here. Alright, here's our output view shed. Let's take a look at it. We'll first modify the symbology. What I want to do is classify this into um, five different classes, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. I'll just put equal interval with five classes here and I can change the values if I want. So for, uh, whoops, I need actually, um, here we go, 4, 3, two, one, and zero. Um, so here I am sort of manually changing the uh, classification breaks and I'm going to change to the this magma color scheme. Uh, I'll invert the ramp here. So zero is going to be this really light color uh, and then it's going to go to a darker purples. So let's interpret this here. If I put my original towers up on top, turn off this output layer, You can see them here. 
So the darker the purple color, the more people can, um, the more towers people can see from that particular location. So if there's a cell that's this dark purple, that means that cell can see the four towers. If there's a cell that's really light peach colored like this, it means that they cannot see any towers. Uh, remember here we have a big ridge and this is the back side of the ridge. Um, apparently the tower was not put directly on the top of the ridge, so it can't see this other side very well. We might want to move that tower if we had the opportunity. Um, also down here in these canyons, uh, not all the towers can be seen. Uh, we could get a 3D view of what this looks like uh, by draping it over the DEM. So I'm going to choose a new 3D map view here. I want to pull it out so I can see most of the screen. I don't actually want to dock this here. Um, I'm just going to click the uh, configure and set it to be draped over a DEM and I'll use the Benton County DEM that I selected there. And what this will allow me to do is use the center scroll wheel uh, to tilt this and I can see that terrain so I can get a feel for what it would look like here and notice how on the back side of this hill cannot see very many of those towers including this one even at 60 meters high so I need to reposition my towers if I wanted to get coverage back there